Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be covering examples involving with BJTs, and we're going to determine in each example whether the BJT is in active mode or in cutoff mode. Now active mode is simple, it basically means that the BJT is closed and the switch is on. So current is passing down from the collector to the emitter. In the cutoff mode, the BJT is open, meaning no current is passing through it. Now here are the conditions when it's in active mode. The potential barrier, as I've mentioned in my previous video, VBE has to be 0.7 volts. Also, I haven't clarified this, but the voltage on the collector side has to be greater than the emitter side. Therefore, having these two conditions being met, our collector current and our emitter current will be greater than zero. Now let's move on onto our cutoff mode. When the collector voltage is less than the emitter voltage, or if the potential barrier VBE is zero, then the switch is open and no current will pass through. Now that we've understand the basic concepts, let's move on to our two examples. So given this first example, is this BJT in active mode or not? First, we're given our resistor values for our collector and our emitter. The collector is 4.7 kilo ohms. Our emitted resistance is 3.3 kilo ohms. And our alpha, our common emitter current gain is 0 0.99. So given these conditions, is this BJT in active mode or not? So first, let's determine and assume, but first assume that our voltage between the base and our emitter is equal to 0 0.7, the, poten the potential barrier. Since this is the case, then our emitted voltage will essentially be the base voltage subtracted by 0 0.7 and what we get is 3.3 volts. Our emitted current will be can be found by taking that and using Ohm's law. And if we take that 3.3 divided by 3.3 ohms, what we get is 1 milliamp. Now since we're given our value for emitted current we found that now we can basically find our collector current because given this alpha value we can multiply it by the emitted current and what we now get is 0 0.99 multiplied by 1 and what we get is 0 0.99 milliamps Now that we got IC, now we can find what VC is. So VC is equal to the voltage 10 subtracted by the current passing through this collector resistance. So that is 4.7 multiplied by the collector current. And what we get is 5.3 volts. So let's look at these two values, shall we? 3.3 volts for emitted voltage and collector voltage. Oops, I circled the wrong number. It's this one, it's 5.3. So since the collector voltage is 5.3 and the emitted voltage is 3.3, .3, 
that basically means that this BJT is in active mode. So let's write down our answer, active mode. And if we want to finish and if we, if we want to finish our next, finish up the entire question, which is what, which is to find the base current, well, that's simple. Applying KCL to the current, the base current, and then the collector current, and then the emitter current, what we get is Kirchhoff's current law. Sorry if you haven't, if you're not able to see what I was I was doing, but this is our base current, 0 0.01 milliamps. So we found out that our BJT is in active mode, and we found all of our values, all of our variables. Let's move on to another example. So in this example, something's different. Our base voltage is higher now, 6V. Now, given that our resistor values are the same and our common emitter current gain is the same as well, let's find out if this VJT is in active mode or not. So VE will be a little bit different as well. So consider this as the same assumption that VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts. What is VE? Well, that is equal to 6 subtracted by 0 0.7 what we get is 5.3 volts. VE is 5.3 right here in this terminal. And let's write down all of our other two terminals. And now IE emitted current will be equal to VE divided by RE. And that will be equal to one point six milliamps and then you applying the common current gain common emitted emitted current gain again IC is equal to alpha multiplied by IE and what we get is one point five nine milliamps. Now, given the collector current, we can find what VC is. VC is equal to 10 subtracted by the current crossing through this collector resistance and that is 1.59 multiplied by 4.7 and what we get is 2.53 volts. Now, here's the thing. For some reason, our value for VC and our value for emitted voltage, VC is lower than VE. And given our theory that when VC is smaller than VE, it is in cutoff mode. There's no current passing through. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. Here's our assumption, and our assumption is wrong because VC is smaller than VE. Therefore, this BJT is not in active mode. It's not in active mode because the current, because VC is smaller than VE. Therefore, the rest of our current, IC and IE, is all equal to zero. The BGT is open and the switch is off. So that is our second example. And I hope you guys understand these examples, these two examples that I covered. One where the BJT is in active mode, right here, and one that is not in active mode. And it all depended on our base voltage. So our base voltage really dictates whether or not the BGT will be open or not. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you next time.